Well, well, welcome all, one and all, one and all, ladies and gentlemen, to a layout update. I will jump right in and start on over here with this little factory, or building, or industry, whatever it is that I'm currently uh, making. It's an old Walters Merchant Store 2 kit that has been busted up as far as the windows go. Um, as you can see, I painted the brick detail, and then for the windows, I'm going, I have, there being held on with scotch tape which is doubling as frost and then what's gonna happen is I'm gonna see if I can find some scaffolding and some construction equipment so it looks like the place is being uh, fixed up or re-renovated. Um, over here other than that I've been kind of replacing atlas switches the best I can. Uh, these are all old atlas switches that I've pulled out so they don't operate great. The engines love to short out on them and it's super annoying. Um, coming over here, we see that I've been working on the firehouse repair center thingy maneuver. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. That's just kind of that's what I've been trying out right there. And then back here, we see a GP9 uh, Phase Two Southern Pacific. This is an Atern Genesis with sound. Over here is a GP38-2 with sound, and there is a Bowser C630 uh, large nose logo with DCC and sound. And then over here we have an E8 or 7, I keep forgetting which is which, but this is a third locomotive. I have two others. This one has sound, so I have two A's, one with sound, and then the B unit without sound. So yeah, that is uh, most of my Christmas haul as well as this little guy, a uh, NCE mini panel. If any of you have suggestions on what I can do with the mini panel, I know that you can make control panels using, you know, the Circuitron switch machines and all that. My only issue with that is most of my switches are actually under some f or over some form of support beam. So I can't put any under thingy, under, you know, under mounted switch machines because there's Literally like either a 2x4 or a 1x6 under most of them And I know you can do some automation, but I don't know. We'll see. So if anyone has any cool ideas what I can do with the mini panel that aren't automation and a Control panel with switch machine stuff Those would be greatly appreciated And let's us uh, see what else is there. Here's a uh, SD9 another one. This is a P2K that I picked up at a train show, some of you know about. And then scrolling on over here, we see that I have ballasted this track all the way here, and in front and behind my fence, I have added some grass mat, grassy stuff. In fact, the grassy stuff you see is the Sill Floor Mini Nature Medium Lawn Autumn by Cynic Express. My local hobby shop carries it, so I thought I'd give it a shot. And as you can see, it looks, you know, okay, I haven't, I have not ever <laughs> installed this stuff, so kind of doing what I can, but I ballasted the track to make it look a little better. And then I've kind of redid the concrete here, used my double sided sticky tape to get that together. So that is what this area is shaping up to be. So let me know what you think on that. And well, I'm schnigadaba. What else is there to show you? Haven't done a whole lot on this side. I'm gonna be lazy and not walk over, but I've added a forklift to the lumber yard. And then I've also over here added some Atlas G-Target signals and of course the BLMA signal head cantilever bridge doohickey is there. Um, other than that I've been running around my trains mostly. Uh, a little bit that I've been here. I've been at work a lot so yay. <laughs> Money. One other project I have been working on that is for someone, I think he's in Texas, is uh, these are all Atern blue box engines that just weren't running super well, so I've been fixing them up. Two of them I repowered, uh, and then they all have LED lighting in the front, 
just replacing the bulb so it operates the same way. Um, the only thing you actually need help on is finding some replacement axle covers for the these engines, this little bottom plate you see right in the middle of those wheels. Uh, most of these I'm holding together with a piece of styrene and in this specific case the second half of this uh, gear cover is gone so I'm using styrene and scotch tape to hold it together. So if anyone has these I haven't been able to find them. I bought some six axle gear covers that are for I don't know they're old and they're not what I was hoping they were so um, yeah so I'm working on these engines as soon as I can get these covers uh, <laughs> they'll be pretty much in good shape then the other thing I'm doing with this guy is uh, trying to shell mount some couplers try to get them to MRA NMRA standards so uh, I'm just gonna see if I can get some styrene and figure that out if anyone has suggestions I will take them I've never actually had to do this before usually they're already body mounted or the metal isn't completely gone so any suggestions with those would be greatly appreciated um, of course oh one thing with few subscribers there is now 507 of you so I give you all a big thank you and at least 300 of you generally watch all my videos according to little play noty thingies so cool Thank you, the rock. Uh, please comment, like, subscribe, watch again, do whatever, have fun, um, and enjoy trains. Yeah, one other thing I almost forgot before I send you off is I got this little Walters Cafe for my city. And it looks pretty cool. And yeah, there's my city. It's looking pretty cool. We got some more figures here, and I'm toying with putting that there. And super yeah, awesome, K thanks by T-T-Y-L. Peace.